Hello and welcome back to the stream. My name is Sumner and I am doing Advent of Code for 2021. Um, so since yesterday, uh, a few things. First of all, yesterday went off, went really, really well. Um, best I've ever done. Leaderboarded boarded on the global leaderboard for both parts, which is ridiculous. And I am really happy about that. In addition, this evening I implemented uh, day one in OCaml, and here it is. Um, so I, I teach principles of programming languages at Colorado School of Mines, and OCaml is the language that we teach for as far as the functional side of things go. Um, so I decided I should probably do a bit more writing of OCaml. I, I honestly don't write a ton of OCaml. You know, it's, it's nowhere close to my day job at all. Um, so it was a nice little challenge. Um, it involved a lot of more thinking about this in a functional way. Um, basically, I used a fold to, so if it's, um, uh, basically add one um, if if y is a greater than x y is the is the second element and then I also had to make a pairs function which just um, gives tuples a list of the tuples of the values mm -hmm. so two kind of things there I also have to learn about file IO because we honestly don't teach file IO that much in the class and I'm not the one who coordinates the class anyway, so it's another professor who does it. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm able to debug OCaml fairly well because, like, I, um, I help students so much with it. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a nice little, little switch up there. Um... Oh, the other thing is um, Windows 3 is a function that just creates those triplets, you know, the sl sort of sliding um, pay, uh, sliding triplets in, the, in that sliding window. So that I think this function is, well, I don't know. It, it could be, it was, it was interesting to write at least. Let's just put it that way. Um, I think I could simplify it, but. I think these are pretty clear. Um, oh, and I then just passed for part two, I just passed it straight into part one. So that was kind of fun. Um, and I'm just mapping over the sum of, of each window. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I, I might, if, if things go pretty well with the Python implementation, um, I might try and do the OCaml implementation uh, afterwards. We'll see. I haven't quite decided. Uh, let's get rid of that. Open up day two. I have to get input ready. Oh, hello, Joshua. Thanks for hopping into chat. Um, yeah, good luck. I'm, I'm excited to see your streams once you start doing that. Um, and definitely, yeah, the first, first ones are, are never too interesting. Okay, so here's a picture of the leaderboard. McPanda, as expected, is right behind me. Colin is right in here. Sam is also up here. So I'm going to have to be on the top of my game. Um, can't slack off. Um, I, 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 I rewatched my stream from yesterday a couple times. The biggest things that I saw were that I wasted like about five, yeah, maybe not five, but I wasted a couple seconds renaming a variable. I'm going to avoid that. I'm just going to go with whatever comes to mind first and then clean it up later. Um, 
I'm not quite Jonathan Paulson who does like single letter variable names. That's a bit beyond my my league. Um, but uh, 26 seconds. Um, gonna have it ready to click, and then we're gonna hop over to here and do a get input. I'm gonna full screen that um, so that I can have it ready. Here we go. Okay. Final horizontal position. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything there. Rematch. Um, doesn't work. Maybe that could be a list. Um, what happened? Oh. There. Part one. Int string, oh, um, darn it, um, forward. Print L. Oh, there's up. Is there backwards? Down, up. Let's make this actually like that. I bet it's just the negation of that. Okay, depth is basically positive. Okay. Um, that was pretty slow. So we're just keeping track of aim as well, which is some concept that I need to figure out. But it starts at zero, down increases your aim by x units, up by x. So down, Horizontal position by X units.
That doesn't seem right. Um, I'm gonna try going with that. Okay. Place top 1000 on the second one. Um, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know why, okay, so down is supposed to, oh right, because depth is negative. There we go. Okay, so that one should be there. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I didn't make any mistakes as far as like submissions that were incorrect, um, which is, I mean, pretty good for me. Get rid of that print. I was wondering where those prints were coming from and couldn't find it. Get rid of that one. Maybe I should um, add an assertion into this rematch that it does match. Uh, so Joshua, yeah, these 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 two minute problems where the leaderboard closes this fast is just you just have to either you just have to see it immediately and then know what to do. Um, this this one felt like one of the ones from last year though. So um, at least at least uh, at least I realized that it should be positive. I would. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that there was up. That was one of my problems. I didn't realize that there was an up thing. So I just like, oh, why is this none? And then it's like, oh, because there, there's there's an extra option. <laughs> yeah, McPanda said that he submitted the negative one. Yep, okay. Yeah, I um, my solution initially got me negatives because that's how I thought about it. But then I kind of was like, it probably shouldn't be negative and just submitted the positive one. I didn't even edit the code. Um, yep, same same with Joshua. <laughs> um, so, okay, this is pretty ugly code though, honestly. Uh, let's see if I can clean it up. So, I think the first thing to do is split up position, because because that was actually kind of confusing. I don't remember which one was which. I guess f equals zero and d equals zero, and then change this to f that one to d that one to d. Let's just return that directly for that. And then do the same thing down here. Um, so Oh shoot, what did I do? Oh, I... <sighs> uh, I named the variable the same thing. Uh, let's see here, so let's do depth, actually, instead of depth. See, this is the this is the problem if you're if you're bad at competitive programming, then it, then you really get uh, get bit by this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, anything else to change here? I guess I can delete pretty much most of this stuff. Rematch came in handy again. I didn't want to remember what the full match was. Um, and there's never a time that I don't want to match the full line. P bits, prod. 
Um, I, if you if you were watching me during stream, I, I just I put it into list and used prod because I was like I don't want to use I don't want to have to type the star. That was kind of a dumb uh, dumb idea, but whatever. Um, let's see here. Delete all this. Okay. Yeah. So rematch again came in clutch. Definitely keeping that around. And we can delete a bunch of imports. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that top 1000 on, on part two. And um, let's see here. How do I see leaderboard, personal stats? Let's see who's, who's done stuff. Okay, so Colin. Colin got second. Oof. Oof. Ryan Zhang. Get, better better watch out for him. That was... Let's see. My diff time was not terrible, but my... Yeah, my initial solve time was pretty bad. Okay. Could have been worse. 3-4. Um, fine <laughs> is what it is. Uh, let's see. Um, so with, I was just outside of the th top thousand for, for part one. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, uh, good question, Joshua. Um, uh, let me, the private leaderboard tools. There's two plugins, advent of code charts and admin of code ranking and you just go to your private leaderboard and then there's a bunch of fancy stuff um <clears throat> it looks like a lot more people solved day of or like right when it came out it looks like 18 so it's going to be competitive uh as things go because any one of these people can probably you know win at some point um Okay, let's try and let's think about this. Is this something that I want to try to solve in OCaml? It might actually be interesting with this sort of pattern matching. I have to figure out how to parse stuff though. I don't really know OCaml. I'm supposed to be able to teach it, but you know. Let's see here. Um, Let's see here. Let's try it in OCaml. What the heck? Um, so I'm just going to pull in all of that. I don't have a template yet. Let me take a look at this um, link that Joshua sent. That does look kind of nice. Okay. Um, don't need a pairs function. So for part one.
Okay, so for the input parsing, um, on char empty okay let's just see here. I guess uh, I just want to print them but I guess it's fine. Um, so what am I doing here? I guess I guess I need Hmm. I'm trying to do this as functionally as possible. So like each time, I guess the function should take in um, the current position. So I guess F and D. Um, and it should also take in like the direction that it needs to go and by how much. Oh, and then um, commands. So zero, zero. No, that's what I should pull off of commands. If we're empty, then we just return immediately. Otherwise, then we do this case. Um, where we do a match. So have syntax errors, let's see here. Not exhaustive. Oh, I need to call inner with Um, so the direction when we go, or the, the new F and D are going to be, okay, what are we supposed to do for part, part one again? <laughs> I forget. Um, add five to your horizontal position. So 
f plus x, same depth, d plus x, oh this needs to be recursive, Um, it's fine that this is not exhaustive. It, you know, um, I guess I can do something like I don't remember how to throw errors. Um, raise. I don't really care. Um, I I know that this is exhaustive. That's the only options. Okay, so part one expects. String list list. Expected of type string int list. Yes, that's correct. So I need to. Hmm. How do you? Uh, oh wait. Um. Is it like a like a string parse thing? <sighs> hmm. buzzing um okay how does this work i guess i can just sort of Do, do something here. I'm so bad at writing. Okay, well, it's not even funny. Equals zero, then string event. No, this doesn't work because then there are different types. No, that does need parentheses. Gosh darn it. Uh, zeroth. That is going to be
This is really ugly. But we're going to go with it. Because I don't know better. Comma, list.nth. One here. And this one just needs... Oh, this one needs to be... End of string of that. Oh, I did it wrong. It's the other way. There we go. What? Part one. Okay, so exp th that's an int star int. Oh, yeah, obviously. Um... Actually, what is that? Oh, darn it. Is that even right? Let's see. Um, let's see here. S run two. Yeah, it's not even close. Okay, so what have I done wrong? I guess I need to print off the lines. Just let's just sanity check. Um, Percent S, percent D, DX. What am I doing? And Oh, I see. Let's add some new lines. That lo that looks fine. Hmm. Okay. So, um, what else can we do in here? Well, let's just check against the Python code. So, in forward. We increment forward by n. Down, we increment dep by n. Um, Yeah, I probably should fold this. I'm just not exactly clear on why this isn't working. 
sort of confusing. Um, this is a, this is effectively fold, right? Like. It, it should be it should be basically doing that but yeah, let's let's try um, let's try commenting that out uh, what is it um, Yeah, um, let's see. Dir and X. Maybe I'll find my bug if I do it a little bit more succinctly. Yeah, because it's the same match statement still. Um... So Oh, I need um initial condition and then this might work. Okay, what is this constraint line to be lines to be? Yeah, so why isn't this working? Oh, because it's going to return. Ah, uh, yes. Um, How do you like turn turn this into a a a like operator? Let's see. Stars like overloaded so much in OCaml, it's not even funny. I guess we'll just use this. Oh, oh, it's it's a it's not a list. Um I don't know, something like that. Okay, yeah, so this still gives me the wrong answer. So what am I doing wrong? Uh, what could conceivably be incorrect? Well, let me try the sample input. Let's see here. Let's do that. Is that how I like naming them? I don't remember. Hmm. 
Oh, I wonder if... Okay, so forward five. I guess I should print here. I'll just print out the inputs, percent s, percent d, f, d, dir, x. Oh, new lines. Okay, so zero, zero, forward five. What? Oh, I'm just, this should be forward. I'm just really bad at coding. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so just my match statement was just in, just plain wrong. Is that right? Is that, is that what the answer? Cool. Okay. Yeah, I, I, this, I'm sure there's a cleaner way of doing this, but I, I just, we'll go with it. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And then it's basically the same, except we do stuff here. So forward adds five, but then does D times X. T plus A. So we have A as well, which starts at zero. And here we don't change D, we just change A. And we do that. Oh, and it's a comma. Okay, so that's wrong. <laughs> um, darn it. Uh, um, FD, D, let's add A in here. And let's go back to the test. Zero, 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 forward five. Thanks for stopping by, Joshua. Yeah, um, definitely not as good at coding in OCaml. It's just a kind of a, I, I teach a programming language class, so. Um, this is the language that we teach the students, so I, I try and stay on top of it, but clearly I don't do it as a day job or anything. So good luck tomorrow. See you. Um, see you then. Okay, let's see here. Forward five. Now we're at five, then we go down five. Oh, 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 um, this is X. I almost got that wrong in the, uh, on the, uh, on the real one. But luckily, when I was solving, I didn't make any mistakes. 18403, cool. Um, yeah, so that's actually kind of nice. Not. I'm not a fan of how I parsed this. I don't, I'm, I'm sure there's a better way. If anybody knows, comment or something, um, cause it looks pretty ugly. So we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Um, let's update the readme.
Yeah, so it's not under a thousand, but one of them was under a thousand. So I'm pretty happy about that. I guess I should really quickly talk about the solution. Um, it's a simple state machine. You have to store your forward motion, forward amount, and your depth. And then at the end, you have to multiply them together. And then there are some simple rules. If the first thing is forward, then you just, for part one, you just go forward by that much. Uh, and then down and up, um, just change your depth. Um, I am using this parse, this uh, regex parsing. Um, I probably should have just done like this. Yeah, that would have been better. But it was nice because I, <laughs> maybe it was better to have it explicit because then I caught that up was a thing. So, and then, um, let's do it that way. So part one is, yeah, it's just pretty simple. Figure out what the word is and then cor uh, update the corresponding item. Uh, for part two, you have the extra aim thing. And aim is determined by up and down from, from depth. And then you actually uh, don't change depth on down and up. You just change aim and then you... Um, multiply the aim by n when you and add that to depth when you go forward um a couple things that are that can trip you up i guess and a, a couple people in the chat that i'm in had this problem um down is up and up is down so down means further down so you have to add in that case rather than subtract um you can just absolute value everything at the end and it'll be the correct answer if you if you flip these around um it'll just be the negation so um uh, like that so um i don't think i have anything else to say about this let's see if there's any other cleanup that i can see to do Oh, oh dear. When did I screw it up? Oh, um, uh, there. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to call it there. Don't want to talk too much more about this. Um, it it went well I, i'm not super happy about about this um this placement um third and fourth but i think it's okay um i just need to continue podium getting on the podium in this leaderboard every day um is, that's the goal at least We'll see how it how it works out. Um, but yeah, if anybody has any, oh, I'll let me commit this to GitHub um, so you can look at it. Oh, oh, I do want to also mention I added a blog post uh, about, and I'm going to update this every day with the information about you know, how I'm doing and then my thoughts on it, as well as some, some things that I learned while I was doing the problem. So um, if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the 
description of the YouTube video. And I'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time.